Good morning, my friends. This is Tuesday, April 16th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a beautiful cover of a gospel book, perfect for the Easter season because it's almost all gold. This is from the Linau Gospel, which is from 870, so long ago. Gospel books are often gold to symbolize the kingdom of heaven because in the book of Revelation, it says that the city is made of gold. It is the color of heaven. So we see the crucifixion here, but it's redeemed through the gold. Incredible. Gold crosses on either side for the four gospels and the four directions of the wind and of this earth. And of course, jewels and opulence were also in the mid Middle Ages a great sign of, of heaven because people were poor and living in the mud. So to see this kind of beauty and shiny opulence and clean, clean jewels shining was a sign of God. A glimpse of heaven. We're going to spend the next week in the letter of Paul to the church at Colossae. Colossians is the name of the epistle. Colossae is just a few miles outside of Ephesus, which is today on the western side of modern Turkey. Paul actually never went to Colossae, which is so interesting. He was in Ephesus for quite a while and his teachings spread and a church was founded there in Colossae by some of his followers, but he himself was never there. But evidently at that church, after they came together and started breaking bread together and talking about Jesus, they also started thinking that they needed to do other things like some kind of self-immolation or punishment and some kind of strange mystical practices. They, they wanted to add on stuff. And the basic premise of this letter that Paul sends them is that Jesus is all you need. Don't try all this other weird stuff. <laughs> I gave you the fullness of God in, in the story of Jesus. That's, that's all you need is to talk about him and to pray together and to worship and break bread. You don't need all this other funky stuff. I think it's hard for us to trust in the simple message of Christ. We want to make things more complicated than they are. We want to make our own journey more twisted and complex. And, and, but really, the message of love is quite straightforward. And it's easy to understand. Uh, and Jesus loves us and we're to love others. And everything that distracts us from that may not be of the gospel. So Paul is sort of saying, hey guys, simplify, trust. I, I gave you everything that you need. Let us pray. Almighty God, in your Son, Jesus, you have equipped us with all the gifts and all the skills, all the wisdom and understanding that we need for our own particular lives. Help us to take joy in learning, but also rest in the knowledge that you have given us, all the tools that we will need to serve you in this life. We ask you to bless the sick and the suffering, those who mourn and those who struggle with mental illness or addiction. I invite you to say aloud the names of people that you are praying for today. Give us wisdom today, Lord Christ, to do your work in this world, to leave undone those things which we are not called to do, and to do those things which we are called to do, to live simply and to walk humbly upon this earth. 
grant peace to the whole world and understanding among races and peoples and give us a love and appreciation for this beautiful earth that you have given us, for its beauty, for the miraculous functioning of our own bodies, for the gift of life. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.